Okay, so we are here on Nick and uh, Nick and Mike's little custom server here. Um, we basically use this for our own testing purposes. I'm going to turn on the engine here. Uh, this is a Buildcraft quarry. And as soon as that bad boy powers up, oh, there we go, she's starting. And as you can see, it's going to remove those blocks one by one. Do, 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 and they come out the top here. So basically, what we have here is a little brown piece of uh, piece of pipe. Um, in this case, the objects are being automatically ejected from this machine. So we're going to ignore this section here, although you can see how basically the build craft pipes work. Um, okay, so you can go inside of a chest and as you can see here and I'm just gonna put them right at the very top here we have this little extraction pipe or the wooden pipe and what we can do is with a wooden pump or a wooden engine we can uh, power it up and it will slowly begin to extract the items one by one now, sadly, the, uh, the wooden engines are slower than dog's balls, but um, we can move them along these cobble pipes and into the diamond pipe, which basically just acts as a filter. Um, in this particular case, dirt, cobblestone, seeds, and copper ore are the only things that are being filtered, and they were the only ones that will pass along that. So we've got a yellow and a black one here. And what we're going to find is that these ones here are actually just being rejected. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on here, we're going to go in here and we're going to add the coal to the green line. And now as you can see here, they're being outputted into the green line. And so they'll move along and into this chest. And you'll be able to see them inserting themselves into the chest now. So basically, <clears throat> my understanding of it, and please understand I am not the only one that's uh, that's probably struggled with these at some point in time. Um, the automatic crafting bench which makes cobblestone slabs, so any time that cobblestone comes into the system, and uh, I'll switch this one out real quick, so that some cobblestone goes along that system there. So basically what's going to happen, as you can see, the coal passes through the filter system. In this particular case, the filter system, I have cobblestone filtering down the red pipe. So it's just going to come down here, it's going to insert itself automatically into the crafting bench. Uh, in the case of the automatic crafting bench, we'll turn this on here so that it can output and extract. And as you can see, it will extract till it reaches the final object and then it will no longer extract that object it will sit there and wait as a template until each of those has filled up and as you can see they're flowing in now and then what it'll do once it reaches those two is it will output them okay so that is buildcraft in a nutshell I'm sorry it was a little quick um, so basically all you require is a setup much like that with a wooden engine, a chest with a wooden pipe coming out of it to a cobble pipe. Now you don't necessarily need that filter, it's just a nice handy way of making it so you can have multiple chests with multiple different types of items in there. And I mean you can go in here and add multiple filters as you can see up to a certain length. Um, while I've got this we will fly over here and I will show you the nuclear reactor because that's what you wanted to see primarily. As you can see, this is a very simple setup. Uranium cells are just here. They're being passed into integrated heat dispersers and into coolant cells. You can actually put more than one reactor and they'll go all the way out to about here. Um, and then from there you're pretty much good to go. So that will output power at a great rate of knots and as you can see we've got them running up into a bat box and that bat box is being drained just as fast as it's being um, used in most cases but uh, 
but they are capable of outputting quite a lot of money into the uh, the MFSU or the bat box. Um, and that is pretty much nuclear power in a nutshell. Um, I suspect that's being used. Uh, where are those going? Is that a bat box? No, that's not. That's not. Okay, so none of those are physically requiring power, so that's probably the only one that's pulling it. Yep, and that's full. So, that would be the terraformer. And that's another one that you can turn to use. The terraformer is, as you can see, taking stacks of dirt from various different locations there and making a, uh, a flat. Um, and we'll probably see it better in most cases from up here. What it does is it takes dirt and it's flattening them all down to the same level as what that is. As you can see there it's building an area in on either side of itself. And the quarry is chugging away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and edit this video up real quick and that way you have a reference at all times of one, what a shitty little uh, understanding of Billcraft Mike actually has, and uh, two, pretty much just how to do the basics. So, yeah, um, at some point in time I'll take a look at solar panels and power, but uh, with the nuclear power plant you'll figure it out pretty quick, I'd imagine. Just remember, if you're going to be uh, doing a lot of power, use the fiber. Fiber is not going to require you to know what kind of uh, cable you need to use for what voltage. But uh, yeah, alright, later. Little plants, literally. As you zoom in and out, they change different. Like you can see here, it represents what it is, but then when you zoom in on it, it actually shows you right up.